That one's you. Yeah, don't judge. <laughs> hey, brothers and sisters in the Lord, mainly sisters. Uh, this is your sister and your girl, Gina. I know I haven't done a video in a very long time. Um, it feels even longer than what y'all have seen because most of those videos were like recorded like weeks in advance, a couple weeks in advance prior. Um, I just have a lot of personal things, a couple personal things uh, going on and have not really been like too motivated to do videos or to find the time, I haven't really found the time and now the holidays are coming up. But I want to do this video really quick, uh, modestly beautiful video, a random one. Uh, some of you guys might remember this dress from uh, my, I think I did like a spring summer uh, thrift shopping uh, video vlog back in maybe April or May. I'll make sure I tack it up above uh, in the card that you'll see on the screen. Or down below in the description box. Um, I wind up saying in the video that I would save this for the fall time and pair it with leggings and dress it up and come back and show you guys how I would wear the outfit uh, to make it more modest looking. Um, it's Daylight Savings Time was about a couple weekends ago and I am hoping that if I take a picture um, outside that because we have evening service we don't have morning service that y'all will be able to see the outfit Lord willing um, with the flash on with this camera because this camera did really good uh, recording a video at night um, when we did our women's fellowship which I'll also link below <laughs> Uh, we, I recorded our women's uh, campfire fellowship, which was such a blessing, and I recorded it at night. Uh, the only light that was outside was the campfire, and occasionally, and occasionally the light from um, uh, one of the ladies' house that we were at. Uh, you know how you usually have like an outside light, so that occasionally showed, but other than that, it was pitch black outside other than the campfire and you can see everything really good even though I put uh, I did put like a special effect on it um, that made it a little bit darker but it was actually brighter than that so uh, yeah I'll just put that in the description below if y'all want to check that out also so I'm hoping that I can get a good picture outside this is my church outfit for this evening I am running behind per usual I don't know why I do this to myself. I even like record videos, but even though I know I'm running behind y'all, I gotta get my life together. But anyway, so I just wanted to show y'all. I know I've been wearing head wraps a lot, and it's not a head covering thing for me. Um, like I've said in a couple of my other videos, uh, modestly beautiful videos, I just do it because um, as kind of like a protective style slash actual style. Um, my you may see a lot of Africans, African Americans wearing it. My father's from Ghana. Um, even if he wasn't from Ghana, we all came off the same boat. <laughs> so, I would still be wearing a head wrap anyways. But I wanted to show y'all how I tie my head wrap. This is something different and fun. And uh, and then I will show y'all my outfit at the end of the video. So I have this black long uh, head wrap fabric. And it's funny because I have, I have um, a sister um, who has told me, Gina, you gotta show me how to tie these, and I'll laugh. Um, oh, the reason why I'm wearing a, um, a head wrap on top of this is because this is more, this is cotton material where this is like more like a silk satin, which is better for 4C hair um, if you have natural hair. So I always have like a satin bonnet or a satin head wrap underneath. I have a satin head wrap underneath because. Uh, I feel like the bonnet will be too much fabric and this is really thick. This is actually from um, this website called uh, The Wrap Life, which I'll link below. It can be kind of expensive. Um, I do have a place near my house that I go to that's like half the price of their head wraps, but they do pretty good with sales. I know Black Friday is coming up soon, so I might try to get a couple solid ones. So this one, I love that it's black because I can literally wear it with anything. Usually. Um, I like style my hair and leave it in for a couple of days. I do like a flat twist or a twist out and I leave it in for a couple of days um, over the weekend and then I'll usually take it out um, that night or the following morning, that Sunday night after church or the following morning uh, before I go to work. So here we go. So I just make sure everything's covered back here. You get it like this. This is gonna be hard because I usually just do it. Um, even though sometimes I won't lie, I do have to 
make sure that, sorry that I keep looking up here, I'm just trying to make sure I'm in focus. And then you kind of crisscross it like this. Get one of the pieces to go like this. Now you tie it, kind of like when you're tying a shoelace. You want to make sure it's really tight, so I usually tighten it more. Um, this is one of the ways that I tie it. So I'm going to get this part and I'm going to tuck it in. I got to look over here in my mirror because I wear glasses, as y'all have seen. I do have a video coming up called uh, um, about self-esteem and how the, from a Christian's, I don't want to say Christian's perspective, but uh, self-esteem from a biblical perspective. I try to make more of a habit of saying that because it's not just about what Christians think about it, but it's what God's word says about uh, these topics and that we look at it from a biblical perspective, from the word of God and not from our own opinion or philosophy that we're being taught in the world. So I tied it, I tucked everything in, then I get these two pieces right <coughs> and I kind of twist it. So this is one of the main ways that I tie it. I twist, 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 twist. <coughs> Sorry y'all, I'm not feeling too good and I have to leave worship tonight so it's really bad that I'm running behind right now but hey, it is what it is. If you do wear a satin, which I would advise y'all to, underneath, um, if you have 4B, 4C hair, African American, make sure everything's covered. I've had times with my friends, I love my sister Brittany and my other sisters, they'd be like, your head wrap short a little bit. I'm like, oh, thank you, girl, and I tuck it in. Anyways, so after you twist it, you kind of just like, you put your hands here, like on the outside. And you kind of hold it in place, right, like so. And you just twist it around, like in a knot. And twist. And then you get your leftover piece and you find a place to tuck it in anywhere. Anywhere, just tuck, just tuck it in. Uh, let's see. And that's it. That is it, y'all. I just keep tucking it in. I try to make sure, you wanna make sure, the reason why you hold it in place is because it helps you to kind of like stir it around into a knot, but then you also can feel how tight or loose that it is. So I just twisted it all the way around, and that was pretty much it. Jen, I'ma make sure I tag you in this video or send this to you so you can see how I do it. <laughs> Cause she was like, you have to show me. So yeah, um, and that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna put some earrings on. These are earrings I'm wearing with my outfit. Nice and simple, but it goes with the yellows, like a mustard yellow. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Where did I get these from? I got them from Old Navy when they were having like a, a 50 or 75 off, 75% 75 off sale. So these are the earrings that I'm wearing. I want to thank y'all for reaching out. Those who have commented on my videos. Um, reaching out uh, and just you know asking me how I'm doing and things of that nature I appreciate you checking on me and praying for me I know that I'm praying for y'all I said I have the self-esteem video coming up and then I am gonna do I'm gonna do a video talking about uh, of course another Christian video another video about the Kanye West situation people might be surprised but how I feel about it, depending on how you look at it, I'm looking at it from a biblical perspective as best as I can until the Lord. Um, I've watched interviews that he's done because I didn't want to come off of it uh, from my own like opinion um, or being so judgmental that I was being judgmental in a hypocritical way and not in a righteous way um, and truth and in, and in love and being willing to listen and things of that nature. I've also thought about doing another video on, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember because it's happened a couple months ago now, uh, but I've heard things like black forgiveness going on and I think as an African American uh, woman or African American in general, it's important for me to talk about that from a biblical perspective. Um, black forgiveness having to do with that, uh, with the cop who killed uh, the African American male and um, in his own home. Uh, forgive me, I don't remember the name, uh, 
I know I know it, but like I said, it's been a couple of months or about a month or two since the incident has happened. I've been wanting to do a video on that. So if y'all do want me to do a video on that, um, and not give you guys my opinion, but give you guys what the Word of God says on these topics, please comment below, please like the video, please let me know any other videos that y'all want to see. But yeah, I hope y'all like this, hope y'all been well, God bless you guys, and I'll make sure I show you the final look after properly. All right, y'all. This is the look. This is the look. Hope you guys like it. I know makeup's not everybody's thing. Head wraps are not everybody's thing. Um, but yeah, this is how I usually dress for Sunday. Sunday service. Can't wait to praise the Lord and 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 be in his place of worship where he dwells. It's such an amazing thing to fellowship with the brothers and sisters and the faith and we should not neglect ever doing that. It's really it's really important for us to spiritually grow to be held accountable that our faith in the Lord will provoke one another to want to seek the Lord and endure until the end with his strength alone. I'm gonna try to go outside and get a video um video or picture of my outfit even though it's completely dark outside for y'all to see okay I don't know if you guys can see the I don't want y'all to see the messiness of the house but look at look at these sleeves look at these sleeves <laughs> I'm loving these bell sleeves I even said that in the video where I bought this dress sandwich again I'll tag below okay it's not real unless I show y'all the glasses <laughs> Cause I am blind, y'all. I can't see far away. So this is you. This is the real me right here. But you'll see in the self-esteem video I talk about. I've come a long way with the fact that I can't see. You know, I remember always being like, I have to take my glasses off in pictures, or I have to take my glasses off in videos. Um, well, videos are a little bit different because I don't have to see up close. Um, I'm rambling, oh my goodness. Okay, but yeah, this is the real me right here with the glasses on. This is the final real deal look. <laughs> all right, y'all. Sorry for all of the rambling. Before I finally got to the video, please excuse if it's a little blurry. Like I said, it's completely dark outside, but I think my camera's holding up pretty well. So this is the full outfit. Um, I still left the tag on, y'all. I cannot believe I still forgot I was up there doing praise and worship y'all with my tag showing <laughs> but here's a look I paired it with leggings and booties um, the dress is a little bit short it's a little bit above the knee probably like half my leg which is why I wore leggings um, and I love that the print is definitely fall like and just to be one more I paired it with this shawl that I got from Target the shoes are from Target also got a little scarf and there you go be strong in the Lord and the power of light.